Welcome in, everybody. My name is Midgeworth, and welcome to Mix It Up Minutes, a series that shows you all the fun things you can do with the chatbot Mix It Up. I will keep these videos short so they're easy to follow and easy to find. We'll go through each thing step by step so you're more comfortable using this very powerful bot. Without any further ado, let's get started. Welcome back, everybody. We are back in our dice command. Let's have a little bit more fun with this and kind of make a gamble command so your users can win currency and lose currency. That way the lucky ones can do more things while the unlucky ones have to suffer. So let's dive into it. Okay, one of the first things that we're going to need to do is to set what kind of dice we want to roll. The most common is a d20. So what we're going to do is we're gonna make this a d20 command. So in order to make it a d20 command, we need to add something called a special modifier or identifier. In this case, this is going to be what we want our command to do for us. So this is the identifier that we're gonna have mix it up look for every time we use this command. So the next thing we need to discuss is exactly what we want this command to do. We want this to be a random number between 0 and 20. So what we're going to do is in here, we're going to do random number 20. It'll add every number from 0 to 20 in a random order. So without further ado, let's make the conditions. Now that we've made the special identifier, we come down here into actions and we come right up here to where it says conditional. We add the conditional to the command itself. And this is where you need a special identifier for your results. So we want to do dollar sign roll result. And then we want to set this number to anything. So let's set this to zero because it'll pick a random number between zero and 20. This is very unlucky, obviously, as there's a one in 20 chance that this actually happens. So because this is a unlucky roll in most cases, we're gonna add a consumable perk or sub action to this condition. Meaning if this roll result equals zero, something will happen as far as your currency system. In this case, we're gonna make it be subtracted from the user. And let's do something big here. It costs 100 currency to actually run this command, but if they are unlucky enough to run to get a zero, we're gonna minus 300 points from them on top of the 100 that it costs them to run this command. So we're gonna save it here, and then we're gonna add some more in a second. Okay, now that we have added our zero condition, let's add another condition, except this one is going to be the 20 condition. So if this command is 20, we are going to add consumable, just like we did before. This one, gonna add our currency, we're gonna add it to the user, and then give them a thousand points. Because again, it's really lucky for them to hit a 20 on a one in 20 chance. So let's save it here, and then let's work on some other things that we can do with it. With the zero and the 20 command condition figured out, what happens to all the other numbers? Well, that's really simple. We can do this in so many different ways. I'll show you some of the things you can do, but you guys can do with this whatever you want. So again, we're gonna continue with our conditional command here, and we're gonna set it up very similarly to before. Roll result, and then instead of doing equals, we are going to do between. So we're gonna have a minimum value of one because we can't make it zero, and we wanna have the max value, let's just say, 13. So anything that happens between 1 and 13 
we can do the same exact thing. We can do consumable, we can do your currency system, and you can add to the user, and let's add 100. So if your user rolls a one, or a 13, or anywhere in between, they will get the money back that they spent on this command, giving them a pretty good opportunity to at least break even. So what about 14 to 19? That's something else that we can add. So again, we're gonna go into conditional. We're going to do the same thing. Roll result. Go into here. Same thing and go between minimum value of 14, max value 19. We're gonna add a consumable to this again, up here. And then this one, we're gonna add our currency system. We're gonna add to the user, but this time we're gonna add more points. So they need to run a 14, 15, 16, 17, 18, or 19 in order to reward themselves with 300 points. So now we have four conditions inside of our dice command, which is then set to our roll result. But Midworth, how will the person know what their result is if there's no message or no way to identify what, they're, what they rolled? You know, I'm so glad you asked. Each of these conditionals can also get a message added to them. So what we're gonna do, I'm gonna show you this once for each section, but you can do this as many times as you want and have it say as many messages as you want based on what you want all your conditions to be. So we go in here, we'll do the 20, we'll do the zero because obviously if they're unlucky, then you know that's their problem. So we go to add a message and then we say, how unlucky you rolled a zero Enjoy losing more points. Hope it wasn't all of them. This way they know they've lost points and they might actually be interested to know how many they lost. So they might go back in and check your points to see exactly where they stand. Again, you can do this for all of your chat messages. So I'm gonna add chat messages and I'm gonna show you what they look like in a second. Okay, you can see I've added a chat message to this one. Chat message here, chat message here, and a chat message here. So let's go into Twitch chat and see which one I roll. Okay, back here in Twitch chat, you can see I tested my points to make sure I had enough. And also in case I do roll a zero, that I can continue to test this command over and over again. So without further ado, Let's test the command to see how I roll and see if I'm lucky today or my usual unlucky. Roll could have been worse. You got another shot and my currency was rewarded back to me. I can check that by then clicking test and make sure that I do in fact have the same amount that I started with. After that first roll, I'm still feeling kind of lucky. So I'm gonna try this command again, and let's hope I don't lose points. So far, everything is working as planned. Let's keep trying. I just can't seem to get anything that's not. Boom, look at that, I roll a 20. Now, let's take a look at my points to see exactly how many I have. There we go. I got a thousand, which put me at 2,400, but then it cost me a hundred to roll the dice. So you can see 2,300 points. That is how you know that your command is working. I hope you enjoyed today's video. I hope you can take some time and create your own special dice command or other special identifier command so you and your chat can have fun gambling points to see who is the top dog, who is the best gambler, and the worst gambler. Remember, you can take everything you've learned from these other previous videos, and in each one of these conditions, you can add a sound to it. You can add a delay to it. 
and you can do all kinds of other things. But for this video, we covered that. I hope you've learned a lot. And until next time, everybody, peace and love. Talk to you all later.